Hello everyone, it's Ali from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a special package opening. Funnily enough, me and Bossman both got some stellar items to show off for you. One for me, I'll open up mine first and then we'll open up Bossman's second. But this is very exciting. I did say stellar because we are both opening up brand new additions to our jumbo 5x7 sketch collection from this year's 2020 top Star Wars stellar signatures. So I'm going to go ahead with mine first and then like I said, boss man second. It's like a little tag team alley boss man opening since we both do have similar items to open up here. But I'm excited so let me go ahead and grab actually the top packages is boss man. Let me move that out of the way. Let me go ahead and grab this one here and then we'll get on into it. So let's quickly Snap us into the corner, and I'm excited to open this up. I did pull off the address. Uh, this is our P.O. Box address. That doesn't matter. That's public knowledge. But this one I did uh, manage to get from my friend Nicholas. He did open up a personal case of Stellar. I uh, can't remember if this one was from the one where he did for himself or he split with a friend. But he did grab the sketch that I'm very excited to add to my collection. So let me go ahead and open this one on up. And then the second one is actually a, a package that Bossman got off of eBay. Um, where he got into a bidding war with someone, but he did manage to pull out the end. So that one will be a cool, cool opening as well. I'm excited. We can also compare packing jobs. I know Nicholas said he was a bit worried mailing the sketch, you know, not completely across the country, but still something as crazy as this opening here. I'm not going to say what it is. Some of you probably already know what it is based on my tastes and on what stellar sketches have been pulled out. So I'm curious to see. This seems like he did a very good job here. If I remember correctly, I remember he was cutting the actual top piece of the stellar box to just mail it like that. And he did very awesome. Very awesome. I wonder how much effort this took to cut. This is very cool. Lots of bubble wrap. Good for me to reuse in the future. Perhaps for your personal break this weekend. Live Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. We do have personal breaks. Here we go. Let's reveal it. Are you all ready? Let me make sure I'm holding it in the right direction. I wasn't. Good thing I checked. Are you guys ready to see this wonderful addition to my collection? Well, too bad if you're not, because right here we do have Dio by Luis Draper. So this is, of course, like I was saying, one of this year's Jumbo 5x7 Stellar Signature sketch cards from those crazy cases. Um, our local person that was going to be splitting a case with Bossman seems to have backed out of it, so we most likely will be running two more drafts, unless we can find someone to take his place. Two more drafts in the future, just like how we did last weekend. Uh, probably not this weekend, but the week after, since it is cutting kind of close to tomorrow to fill it. Probably be running that next week, and then another one in the future. But there is, he is. He's so cute. He's so cute. And the detail on this is crazy. Uh, Nicholas actually Facebook called me and said he wanted to check with me first to make sure that tops didn't actually damage the sketch. Not sure if y'all remember, but in the Rise of Skywalker, uh, Dio wasn't in the best condition. He was uh, kind of not taken care of very well by his owner. So he was dirty and kind of scratched up and whatnot. So the crazy detail on here by Louis Draper, Nicholas actually thought that tops might have damaged the sketch on accident. But I didn't think so. But just because of how nice it is, I wasn't 100% sure either. But I checked with the actual the reproduction sketch because they do have those little metal framed repro cards only numbered to 100. And he did have those marks there. So this this is how Dio is meant to be. This isn't a tops error. But again, this was by Louis Draper. Very awesome jumbo sketch card here. So that is for my personal collection. He's not going anywhere. This is actually my fourth stellar sketch. I have three from last year, which are actually still here. Let me grab those. I had them as a summoning circle during last Wednesday's live stream and I just haven't taken them home yet. Let me just grab those. Any chance of mine to show off, why not go for it? But I do have from last year, three from Dan Berggren. Dan Berggren did the whole set last year. I have Anakin. And then I do have two Padmes as well. I have Queen Amidala. And then I also have the Tatooine Padme from Attack of the Clones. So those are this these are my three from last year now my one from this year i do have a wants list for this year i'm really hoping to acquire carlos caballero's general grievous uh, i'd also love to have you know of course the porg the porg is probably my number one most wants this year i feel like that one's probably gonna be expensive but more reasonable price than the uh than luis's padme or even the baby yoda from carlos so those are ones i'd love to have in my collection too but i've just kind of resigned myself to the fate i will not have those so the one i'm most hunting for because like I said, I've accepted my fate on the other ones. The one I'm most hunting for is the Porg. So if any of you guys ever see that Porg for sale, you better let me know. And then also the General Grievous. 
So three from last year, three from this year. This sounds like it'd be a pretty cool addition to my collection. But all right, let me move this out of the way and then we'll get into Boss Man's special stellar package. I didn't even move those very far. I don't know why I made it sound like I was getting up. I decided I didn't feel like getting up. This one is one Boss Man did win off eBay. Like I said, got into a little bit of a bidding war, but he pulled out in the end. It's from AMT Memorabilia. They just shipped it in a little priority mail bubble mailer, which is actually what I was considering sending the sketch from the draft. Uh, the, we did hit the uh, Cassian Andor during our stellar draft. I was thinking about sending it in one of these. I just, I ended up not feeling comfortable about it. I ended up throwing in a flat rate, but we'll see. It does seem like this one arrived in good condition. Easy pull tape here. Perhaps I spoke too soon. No, I got it. Not well. I spoke too soon about speaking too soon. Okay, so it's double envelope. That makes sense. I'm taking notes here, taking notes. Alrighty. Oh, it's triple triple envelope. I'm actually impressed with this. No wonder it felt so secure. Like I said, I'm taking notes here. Taking notes from AMT memorabilia. Looks like I, I'm too lazy to rip this anymore, so let me take tiniest knife and just get on in there. Ooh, that cut really nicely. Alrighty. <laughs> There's another envelope in here. This is crazy. Ah, uh, no, he's actually... No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sketch is in between. That kind of looks like my handwriting. Huh. Alright. Tiniest knife. Cutting that painter's tape. I know painter's tape is easily removable, but I'm I'm cutting it anyways because I see that the sketch is protected on the inside as well. Again, like I said, enveloped once again, once more, once more enveloped. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see, Boss Man's acquisition to his personal collection. This is another beauty by Luis Draper. And we have. Doo -doo -doo, there he is. IG11 from The Mandalorian. Very awesome. So we got two droids today in the mail, which is cool. That looks so great in person. Wow. I really like the. Um, the like splatter effect that Luis did. I think it looks really nice. That is super cool. There he is, IG-11. Which I have been, uh, I go between just calling him IG-11, IG-88, because I'm just, uh, because I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> They're both the same type of IG droid. But I, I actually had a list that actually is up to, I think, 44 now, of all the different sketches that have been pulled from Stellar. Because I'm just trying to keep track of what left is out there. Because we do have, like I said, two more cases available for, for drafts. So I'm like, what is in there? I need to know what's in there. Um, I actually had him on my list as IG88 for like three days and no one corrected me. <laughs> but yeah, the, 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 my sheet's up to like, yeah, 40, 44. There have been 20 different Carlos Caballero sketches pulled to my knowledge and 24 different Luis Draper sketches. So almost half of Stellar has been gone in a week, which is crazy when you think of how crazy priced it is. And the price has been going up. So we were actually trying to get more, see if we could do more drafts, but the distributor raised their price. We said, nah, and then we're like, well, maybe, and then they had already sold out. So people are going nuts over Stellar, which is to be expected because the sketches, all the sketches this year of 10 out of 10s, and then also the signers list is awesome as well. And I know some people are speculating that the Mando prices will go down after the release of the Mandalorian season one trading cards that do come out this Wednesday, the 4th. So make sure you come join us for a live case break of that on Wednesday. Not sure how much I'll be opening, but I will be here live breaking Mandalorian. But the thing is, that product is all sticker autographs. And a lot of the Mando signers from Stellar, like Giancarlo and Cara, well, I'm, I'm mixing real names and not real names here. And also Pedro Pascal. They have really large autographs, Gina Carano, Pedro Pascal, and uh, Giancarlo Esposito. And they all, that's not gonna fit very well on a sticker. Carl Weathers too. So we'll see how those look. I don't think the prices will drop too much from Stellar. They might initially have a bit of a drop, but always on card's gonna have a higher premium than stickers. So we'll see what the prices happen after that. These are two awesome additions to our collection. Me on the left, Boss Man on the right. 
I love Dio. Obviously, I'm going to have a preference for Dio because he's mine, but this one is, looks really nice as well. So congratulations to Bossman on his eBay win. Congratulations to me on adding my first 2020 Stellar sketch to my collection. And hopefully I can add those other two. And like I said, poop shoot dreams for the Padme and the Baby Yoda, but that's that's how it be sometimes. So hopefully I can get that Grievous in the Borg instead. But that is it for me today. I gotta go ahead and film our Halloween special. That should be up tomorrow. Should be a premiere around two o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. We'll be opening up a box of Ultimate Masters dressed as Liliana of the Veil. And I tried on that costume. I took some pictures last night. Yo, that guy's, that thing is legit. That is great. I'm excited to put that all together for you guys today. So you guys can see that video tomorrow. And then also I will be re- putting back on my costume again tomorrow. I'll be live for Halloween as Liliana once again. So make sure to come visit live streams every Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. Halloween is no exception. We'll see. I'm gonna try and see if I can take off the day after Christmas just so I have a little bit of a vacation. But we'll see how that goes. But for now, every single Saturday night without exception. But that is it for me here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag team mail opening. One for me, one for Boss Man. Let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future, usually well, I say usually, but we've had one Boss Man mail episode. But I've been doing them separately. I can kind of combine them in the future if you guys uh, don't mind that. As long as it's thematically relevant. I don't want to just combine like weird stuff he bought and then gifts for me. I don't feel like that matches. But stuff like this, let me know if you want to see more openings like this in the future. But that is it for me, like I said. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any information on more Star Wars Stellar sketches and where they may be located, leave that in the comment section down below for my list. Like I said, I have 44 different... 44 different sketches. I'm assuming there's been more cases open than that. Uh, we'll see if I can ever compile a complete list. That is it for me here. And then of course, oh yes, don't forget, if you're not part of the Titan Cards family yet, we'd love to have you with us. What are you doing? Why are you hesitating? Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching everyone. Stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Tomorrow night live next week and of course next Wednesday live with at least one case most likely three cases of the Mandalorian Star Wars Tops brand new product release November 4th. Well, thank you so much for watching everyone take care stay safe and I'll catch you next time. Bye!